fueled by industrial greenhouse gas emissions. Earth's climate warmed more from 1971 to 2000 than during any other three-decade interval in the last 1400 years, according to new regional temperature reconstructions covering all seven continents. This period of man-made global warming, which continues today, actually reversed a natural cooling trend that had lasted for several hundred years. And this wasn't just one scientist or a small group of scientists. More than 80 scientists from 24 different nations around the world contributed to these results, which were published in the journal Nature Geoscience by analyzing climate data from tree rings, pollen, cave formations, ice cores, lake and ocean sediments, and historical records from around the world. According to one of the study's co-authors, this paper tells us what we already knew, except in a better, more comprehensive fashion. This is further reminder that leaders from around the world need to do a lot more to take action on the climate change problem, but it's we the people who must force them to take action, and the most effective, quickest way to do that is by spreading information like this to make our fellow citizens more informed. I'm Bryce. And I'm Brendan. And this is The Rundown. Two of the wealthiest men in the world, the Koch brothers, are planning on spending up to a billion dollars to buy some of America's largest newspapers in a bid to spread their libertarian small government message. 